Back before I had met any of you, if someone had asked me to tell them something about myself, chances are I would have told them that I was in marching band. What you're seeing now is the last show I ever performed serious for, just a few months before I would meet any of you. You may remember my first profile picture as one of me smiling creepily with face paint. That was from this show. I may have shown one of you this, but I don't think I showed all of you this. During the summer and fall, we would have marching band outside with the wind instruments and color guard and percussion. But during the winter and spring semesters, we did indoor percussion. I was ahead of the pit for the two indoor seasons I was a part of. Playing music, both sheet music and improvised music, is something I never truly got really good at. But I got to the level where I was seen as good by the people who didn't actually play music. And that in itself is a bit of a success. I just did it for the fun of it. Playing music can get very repetitive, but I always saw it more as a video game, like trying to speedrun through a game like Mario. You just keep practicing a piece until you're good enough to play it through without the sheet music, and it feels like the best thing in the world when you're playing it with a full ensemble. Of course, I don't really play music much anymore. One problem that I have is that I always have too many hobbies and desires that I have to juggle simultaneously. The term jack of all trades and master of none has always hit me a bit harder than I would like it to. Playing music has been a hobby that I've neglected for a while now, and to be honest, it really feels like I haven't truly played music since this very show. And I don't regret it too much because, once again, jack of all trades, I needed to cut something out of my life. Percussion has a lot of baggage that comes with it. It's expensive, it takes up a lot of space, it's allowed to play any instrument really. It doesn't help me with anything else in my life, and unless you're talking about keyboard instruments, percussion has always been more of a backup instrument than a solo instrument. I've always looked at those memories, though, as some of my best ones, and looking back at some of the Facebook pages of some other members, it looked like I wasn't the only one. Playing music competitively is really, really fun. There's stereotypes about marching band and band camp, but the whole experience really is just so intense, fast-paced, and distinct. You get such a close bond with the people you play with. I imagine playing for a sports team would be similar, but I prefer the feeling of creating a product that can be viewed when you're done with it instead of a game that's only one and done. Music is still a big part of my life, and it will always be. That's something I gained from marching band. Before, I didn't really listen to anything that wasn't on the radio, so that changed a lot. I'm not gonna lie, there are still days when I wish I was back at that time. Marching band gave something to my life that I've never been able to find anywhere else. It's some kind of intangible connection to the people around me. I don't know if I'll ever feel that same thing again, but then again, it may also just be nostalgia. I also remember this time as being the single most stressful time in my life. Not only was I doing this, I was also a big part of my school's theater program, doing tech for that. I was on the robotics team. I had a class that took up three class periods a day. I was getting ready for college, and I still forced myself to have time for a relationship and some very intense friendships. Most of my days were scheduled by the hour, and if I wasn't working every single hour, I'd have fallen massively behind. But some of my fondest memories came from that time as well. I remember some very specific things from that time period. I remember driving through the snow on my way to a show with the radio off. I remember sitting in the parking lot talking about H.P. Lovecraft. I remember eating peanut butter and jelly sandwiches in my car for dinner because I didn't have time to go anywhere to eat. I remember wrapping cables, sending quotes of the week to pit members, playing pit and seek, steal care stuff day. I remember that when you moved Big Bertha, you needed to tilt it to the left and push on the right side because the wheels were messed up and Bertha was a sassy one. I could honestly go on for days talking about marching band stories, but I want to end on this one. My last year doing marching band, I remember one of the members who had graduated was going to Australia with their college. I didn't really know them that well, but I had a short conversation with them about how I loved Australia and how the platypus was my favorite animal. And when they came back from their trip, even though it was a relatively small conversation and I never really talked with them much, they came up to me and gave me a platypus stuffed animal because they remembered. That's the kind of family environment that marching band created. I don't want to say this was the best part of my life because it definitely wasn't rose-colored glasses and all but it definitely was a defining time in my life. Since it's my turn to choose a question, I'm going to ask you to share something that you maybe thought would be a big part of your life, but now isn't. Could be a place, a person, or another hobby. Possibly something that you haven't told us much about. We got first this year, by the way. We got first every year for indoor. So the danger must be growing. Yeah, it's the greatest year ever,
Century High School.